Hello, pickleball fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about remote desktop procedure, RDP access, and how it is tracked through uh, the event logs. Uh, this is very, very prevalent today because so many breaches are caused by insecure VPNs and uh, 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 really weak RDP connections, uh, these types of things. So it'd be great if we had a place to go to where we could see these connections within our event logs. So let's go over to our event log and see where we can find this forensic goodness. Over in uh, the security event log, we can load that log and then we can load any historical logs along with it that we want. Event Log Explorer allows us to merge all of these together. Now, you see there's 21,000 events, so that's quite a few to look through. I think I'm going to want to filter these down a little bit. And the filter I'm going to want to apply is for 4778, which shows sessions connected. And then I want to also look for 4779, sessions disconnected. Once we do this, you can see we've cut down to eight events in this particular case. Now, we have usually a number on the connection, and I'll show you that in a moment. But first, I want to talk about this entry here, session name console. Now, typically, you should expect to see a 4778 having a 4779 that corresponds with it, an opening and a closing. In this case, we see one here, a console. Now, this console means that the system did it for whatever reason. Uh, so not really interesting to us as an artifact. What we're more interested in is stuff like this. RDP TCP number 16. I want to find, this was a connection, I want to find the disconnection so that I know when it connected and when it disconnected. So we know that it connected here on 10-22-2013 at 438. We're going to look for the corresponding disconnection. And how do we do that? Remember this logon ID we talked about before? Well, I can see it ends in CA73. And it's RDP TCP number 16. So I'm going to look for that. And if you see, there's different connections here. So I know it's none of those. But when I find 16, I know I've got the right one. And it ends in CA73. It came in, this connection was established from a computer named Jane Blake from that IP address. Talk about forensic goodness. And in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.